Hey, my name is Lux. So nice to meet you. Awesome, you clicked on my video. Anyways, you want to learn how to use Second Life. Okay, uh, that's cool. That's awesome. First of all, most of us in Second Life, we don't use the original viewer. I don't know if you guys know there was an old viewer that everybody used. Nobody uses that. Everybody uses Firestorm. So yeah, just go ahead and download Firestorm. Click the first link, firestorm.org. So go to firestormviewer.org. You want to download it. Click this one. Download viewer for Firestorm. La da 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 da. Click Windows. Um, click this one. This one, 64. <laughs> and then once you have it downloaded here, let's see, I have to update it anyway. So, okay. Once it's installed, you're gonna click it to open it. English, okay. La da da da. I agree. Firstborn child, everything. La la la. Um, make sure you. It's where you want it to be installed. For me, it is in my C drive. You might have other drives. Whatever works for you. Yes. And it'll start um, installing. Then she's off to the races. After it's done downloading, you want to click yes. Launch Firestorm. Then it's going to be like detecting running systems, all this stuff. And then you'll get this lovely screen. So don't worry about this. This is if you're curious about what's going on in the world. Here, these are like the most popular sims that everybody hangs out at. These are new ones. These are featured ones. So if you're looking for themed stuff. Anyways, okay. Um, type in your log information and um, it should say home. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Hit that login button. So if you're just starting out in SL and you never played it before, you are going to have no money, probably like 20 Linden or something. Um, your avatar is not going to look like this. You're going to have to go shopping. Um, and you're going to be somewhere completely different. Like I want to say, I don't know, uh, newcomer friendly. You're probably going to be like on social island or something. Social Island is pretty popular for thingy. But um, what I would suggest is just explore with SL. Um, go to World Destinations and just explore these tabs. Um, newcom newcomer Friendly and What's Hot Now. Um, also, if you go to Avatar, Preferences, Move and View. And you want to go to movement and check off pressing letters affects movement. W A S D. Make sure that's checked off. So, whenever you move on your keyboard, you'll actually move as in like W A S D game style. Another thing that I find important is if you go to privacy and you go to the look at button. Um, so show look at targets. So if you click show look at targets, it'll show, it'll actually show where everyone is like looking with their cam. So it's like, so these little plus sign things, this is actually where the person is looking and it'll show you where they're looking. So if they're moving, that means they're moving their cam, but I have that turned off. But yeah, that's what show look at targets as. Don't send my look at targets to others. I have this checked off because I don't like people knowing where I'm camming. <laughs> I don't know. Some people like it on. Some people don't like it. For me, I like I like it off. This is um auto res this is auto responses. So you can actually turn this on when you're busy, and um, if someone messages you, they'll get these messages. This is to change your skin color for Second Life, the whole Second Life layout, but I do not recommend it because I also kind of know this, it slows the whole like Second Life thing down a bit. Okay, now we're gonna get into buttons. So I'm gonna take all my buttons away here for a second. I know any of these do, okay, here we go. This is my AO, I'm also gonna take that away for distractions. Okay, so we have buttons here. So this is chat. Messages, you know, blah, blah, blah. This is voice. So anytime this is clicked off, 
um, a green bar will appear above your head and that means you're speaking in world. So you always want to make that checked off. Um, make sure it's not gray. <laughs> if it's gray, um, that means voice isn't activated. This checked off, meaning you're going to have to hold it down to talk. So always make sure it's checked off. Okay, so if you're new, you probably haven't set up your voice yet. So you want to go to sound and media, click voice, audio device settings. You want to make sure your input and output are in the correct positions. So for me, I have my Yeti mic here and it goes into my speaker so I can hear it in my headphones. And yeah, so mic check one two green bars above my head cool cool so if you're not able to hear anyone around you um just make sure you again your out input and output are in the correct uh areas <laughs> um this headphone is to check who's nearby so if you pull that up it'll show who has voice nearby you and if they can hear you or not This button is to turn and rotate your avatar, but I don't really use this. I just kind of use this for the, if I want to change from walking to running or to flying. And then I click stop flying. So yeah, you can fly in SL2. And then we have the look button. This is pretty, um, this is pretty handy. I use this a lot. You can use other things too. So this is to rotate. Side to side, up to down, side to side, up to down, zoom in, zoom out, you know, and this should change your views. So if you're walking a certain way and you don't like your view, just click one of these three people and it'll change. Or if you want to zoom into something like say for that tree, for example, zoom into that tree. And then take it back and this is mouse look so you can go uh, POV mode this is nearby so this button is your friends list you got your groups recent people you talk to block people contact sets close friends you know all that stuff this is your outfits I have so many outfits <laughs> <laughs> so say for example I want to save this outfit right I will go to casual 4 and save it and then I'll have casual 4 there um, say I want to put like casual 3 on right I won't put add to current outfit because then all the clothes will be added I want to replace current outfit And just like that, her outfit changes. I gotta fix a feet, but whatever. Or you could switch back, you know. Whatever floats your boat. This is the search bar. So they kind of updated this before you would just kind of type, uh, what is that? Go away. Before you would kind of type in this bar here and it would, you know, type it in, but you gotta search it twice now. Um, so this is a good tab to find what's going on. So, or future events upcoming. Say I want to go to karaoke. So uh, there is karaoke happening on the 7th, 17th at 12 p.m. SLT. Second Life has their own time. Right now it is 9.16 a.m. But yeah, anything you can literally like type in party I don't know whatever you want to like search I guess um don't worry SL looks kind of hard but it's like riding a bike once you get used to it oh yeah that's another thing <laughs> you can change your sounds on second life so if you hear like old school sounds from MSN it's because I changed every single sound in second life to make it sound the way I wanted and eventually I will show you guys how to do that in a later video um all right, moving on. So that was the search button. This is the map button. So you can see every sim and server that someone has created. It's 
kind of crazy. This is the one that we're on. There's one next to us. If you zoom out, you can see like people and how popular it is. You see islands bunched up together. It's crazy. You can find, yeah, the green things are people. I'm assuming that's mainland, I have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, the map. So if you wanna see who's around you, go to world and then click mini map. So this is the map of the entire sim, I guess you would say, or region that I'm in. And currently no one's beside me, but if I were to go somewhere else, it would be completely like, you'd see like green little dots and stuff. So as you can see, there's three, this sim has three different regions. There's a person over there, a couple different people, and yeah, that's how you find people on the map. Usually I have this like chilling in one of my corners, like usually it's usually in this corner so I can keep an eye on like if someone pops on the land, you know? Oh yeah, so every time, you uh, go into a new sim, there's a chance that you'll get this pop-up. Basically what it is, is it allows you to hear music playing in the region. So if you wanna hear it, click allow. If you don't wanna hear it, just eh, but I'm gonna click allow in this case. Allow now. And you'll hear the radio stream, but I'm gonna mute it for copyright reasons. <laughs> and if you don't hear anything, just press this little music button and toggle and the music will come back on, but I muted it. <laughs> and if it's really advanced, it'll show you what song is playing on the radio. This is the camera button. So if you wanna take in photos on Second Life, pull up your little eyeball. Refresh, and you can save it. So save as, let's see. Say I want it to save to my desktop. Save. Pull it up on my desktop and it'll be right there. Pretty cool, huh? And then you can take those photos and like edit them, do whatever you want with them. This is, oh my God, this is the inventory. So this is the struggle that everyone kind of like struggles with. So I'm just gonna um, teach you how to use this as easiest as I can. Okay, so say for example, you bought a new sweater, right? If you bought something from a store, it's gonna be in objects. So I bought a top, right? Here's the top that I bought. You wanna click add and this thing is gonna pop up. It's gonna, oh, sorry, so many notifications. <laughs> So once you click add, whatever is here is gonna pop up or it's gonna pop up in the right corner. So you're gonna click accept, right? Then you're gonna click detach. And then you're gonna go to recent. It's gonna see the, it's gonna show you the file that you just unpacked. So you're gonna wanna, well, maybe I should put a different top on. It's the same top that I'm wearing, whatever. Um, so, in order to equip it, you want to find out which body you're wearing. For me, I'm wearing the Betrayalara. Betrayalara. You're going to click add, never wear. If you click wear, it, there's a chance it'll mess up your body. So you're always going to click add. And just like that, look, she changed her shirt. And that's how you wear something. Uh, to take something off, you want to click the shirt. Wearing you want to go to wearing and look for that shirt that you just equipped spirit top Detach And that goes for anything else that you wear if it's an item where you have to Res it out. So resing is actually taking it out of the box. So say resing is something like this and You just drag it out of your inventory onto the ground and it reses and then you can either look at it or open it. Sometimes, most of the time, it'll be like a box and you just click open and there'll be stuff inside of it. But in this case, it's an invitation. So you just look at it 
<laughs> but yeah, so if you're looking to just explore on SL, not wanting to spend money just yet, there's some cool places I can recommend. I can recommend... Someone will recommend Social Island and London City. Depending what time you depending what time you're there, you're gonna meet different people. There's lots of trolls sometimes, so just be cautious of that. Go to secondlife.com and log in. You'll see this, right? Grid status, blah blah upcoming events. You wanna go to the events page. And yeah, whatever you're looking for, education, sports, music, nightlife, there's tons of DJs. If you want to go check out clubs, contests, games, um, charity, if you want to donate. Live music is pretty fun. You'll probably see my name in this tab. <laughs> um, yeah. Or just find something fun to do. One time... I was just curious, so I attended a live Christian uh, service. I don't know. Just literally do anything. It's Second Life. Um, yeah. But yeah, stick to the newcomer-friendly places and just go out and meet people. You don't have to talk on mic. You can just um, find someone and instant message them and talk to them. I don't know. It's all about making friends. I always love making friends, so if you want to reach out, just be like, hey, I saw your YouTube video. Hi. I'll be like, oh my god, hi. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So for some raspy, I literally just woke up. And thus ends Lux's Second Life class. First, the first lesson on how to use Second Life. Um, there'll be another video coming, but if you have any other questions, just drop them in the comments and I'll try and answer them to the, my best abilities. <laughs> Until then, I'll see you guys later. If this video helped you at all, like or comment, you know? Until then, bye!